Hey, it's Mike Mu here, and this is the filter system for the RX100 Mark 7 by Nisi. This actually is the Pro Kit, and we're going to unbox it and talk a little bit more about it and why you should probably try to get one of these. So this here is the Pro Kit. It runs about $65, and it is specifically only for the RX100 Mark 6 or the RX100 Mark 7. The kit itself comes with uh, two different types. There's a professional kit and there's a base kit. The one we're unboxing here is of course the professional kit that you could see and a professional kit comes with a holder graduated neutral density filter a polarizer infrared ND8 filter natural light filter and a pouch now Nisi filters have been Nisi optics have been making filters for a really long time and generally you'll find them used by landscape photographers because they have whole sets that are designed specifically for photography now I became interested in this, not just for photography, but of course videos as well. Keep in mind though that a lot of this stuff is for photography, but you can also use this for videos if you like. Now as we all know, the RX100 Mark VI, and in this case the Mark VII series, has done away with the neutral density filter in there. So we have to resort to different other methods of getting better frame rates uh, when recording videos and also for photography. So I found this, again, $65, link below on Amazon, affiliate link. Please use this if you are interested in getting it. I'd really appreciate that. So it comes with this nice little case, and it is fantastic because uh, I don't know about you, but I definitely have problems getting all my filters together and organized. All right, so this features, let's take a look at the features inside, of course. We have all the slots taken up by the different filters that are available, including the filter holder. Now the whole package dimensions are 4.8 inches by 4.2 by 1.4 inches, and so it'll fit in basically any type of small camera bag. And the whole thing weighs about 5 ounces, 5.5 if you include the, the outside box here. Now this just goes right on uh, on top of the actual lens itself. This is something that I did not see in any other videos out there, so I thought I'd be one of the first to share this with you. This has a similar type of felt lining inside here, and it is perfectly machined so that it, it rotates right on top of the lens itself, like so. And it has two slots so that you can stack on two of these filters if you so want to. Now the way this installs is basically you just turn on the camera and you just slide this on like so, and it fits perfectly. Now, if you're going to turn on or turn off the camera, you're going to want to take this off. Otherwise, you will not be able to fully retract the camera lens. This is very different compared to some of the other filter adapters that are available for the RX100 series, the Mark VI and the Mark VII, in that those, you actually have to stick on something physically on here, which becomes a problem if you want to uh, remove it or if you want to um, change it. This will just slide on and off exactly on a completely naked Mark VI or Mark VII, just like so, carefully. And then all you gotta do is just take one of the filters and slide it right on, very similar to the other filter adapters uh, that Nisi makes at the 100 millimeter uh, type mark for photography. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off right now and show you how some of these other filters are in here. All right, first, of course, we've got the filter holder. Uh, the first one that I am going to pull out is the graduated neutral density filter. These actually come nicely wrapped in this uh, paper, but because this is my take two of this recording, the first one just kind of failed because of the application failure. Uh, I'm doing this again. All right, so this is the graduated neutral density filter. You can see that it is nicely coated, multi-coated, and you can actually see a label on there as well. This lets you know that this is the medium neutral density filter, the only one that comes in here, GND filter, uh, as noted right over there. Now these will just slide in like so. Uh, I don't believe that any direction, you need to slide them in in any particular direction. It'll slide in like so, and this one is the biggest of the set because it allows you to go ahead and adjust where you want Want the neutral density filter in the frame of the lens and the picture photograph or the video now i would advise putting this in last if you are going to be doing it just only because you will want to be able to adjust those and putting these in separately uh, if you're going to stack them is going to be a lot easier so what i'm probably going to be using a lot with the graduate neutral density filter if i'm outdoors is actually the polarizing filter now i'd probably just put this in further on on the most inner towards the lens just from habit 
I just found that it's a little bit easier. And as you can see, it just slides right in like so, real simply. And that's a polarizer. And then I would then slide in this and stack on basically two filters like so. This way I will be able to get nice blue skies and also not overexpose the sun. Uh, the sun or the horizon of the sun. As you can see, this is what it'll look like through the camera lens. Let's have something white back there so you can kind of see. And you can then, of course, adjust where the horizon. Now, the other filters in here of, of are all of similar fantastic quality that I can tell. Uh, there is the nighttime one, which is great for shooting cityscapes or where there is a light, a light pollution. It helps to cut out those frequencies so that you don't get that horrible orange, uh, a horrible green or orange tint and the colors just look a little bit more accurate. So that's what this is over here. It's a nice one to have. I've never used one before, so this will be interesting when I take this out to use. So this is called the natural light filter. And then I have the regular neutral density filter. This one I actually didn't get around wrapping earlier, so you can see what this looks like when basically this is just a new standard neutral density filter. It is multi-coated. You kind of see how it's a little bit, uh, of course the purple does not show up in the photographs. It's just the multi-coating that reduces uh, any additional reflections or glare off of it. So these are all nicely labeled, quality labeled right here. So Nisi really does make a quality product uh, that I can tell. This is actually my first Nisi product. I've seen them, I've heard of them, watched them at photo shows, and this is definitely something that I would recommend if you are a landscape photographer or if you need some sort of flexibility of stacking filters with, while you don't want to tack on a lot of semi-permanent things on top of your uh, RX100 Mark VI or Mark VII. All right, that's it for this quick little unboxing. I will definitely show you some of the pictures that you can take and the videos that you can take as a result of using these filters and how they improve the quality of your shots in future videos. Please like and subscribe for more. And if you are interested in getting this Nisi, I definitely recommend getting the professional kit because you get all of these filters and the other additional extra ones are not are not currently sold separately. So if you want the whole set, you'll want to get the pro kit. This runs 65 US dollars. Link down below. If you just need the basic kit, which I believe just includes two of these filters, it's also at the same link down below. You can choose between the two. That's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.